Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have North Andover High School. <laughs> Taking on Chelmsford High School. on High School Quiz Show. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life's storms. Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, 110 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's matchup has Chelmsford High School taking on North Andover High School. And on the Chelmsford team, we have Peter. John, Ben, and Melanie with alternates Cam and Charlie and Coach Craig Vitale. <laughs> and for the North Andover team, we have with us uh, Mark, Yafin, Samil, and Lily, and Coach uh, Mike Ellison. Nice round of applause. Okay, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with a toss-up round. And by the way, all answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So if everybody's ready to go, let's play. Nick Carraway is the narrator of what Jazz Age novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald? Ben. Great Gatsby. Yes, Perth is the most populous city on the west coast of what country? Yes, Peter? Australia. Yes, what Dr. Seuss book ends with a line? Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Yes, John? Green eggs and ham. Yes, pearls will dissolve in vinegar, which contains what acid? Yes, Peter? Acetic acid. Yes. Okay, take a look at your monitors. Pictured here is a NASA team celebrating in July 2016 after confirming the Juno spacecraft successfully entered the orbit of what planet? Yes, Ben? Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. What U.S. swimmer lost a lucrative Speedo contract after admitting to over-exaggerating a robbery claim made during the Rio Olympics? Yes, Emil. Um, Ryan Lochte. That is correct. Sam Houston was the first president of what self-governing country that called itself the Lone Star Republic? Yes, Mark? The Republic of Texas. Yes. Uh, dropping 979 meters, Angel Falls is the tallest waterfall in the world. It's located in what South American country? Yes, Lily. Venezuela. Yes. Name the three-word title of a recent memoir that's subtitled The Girl Who Stood Up for Education and Was Shot by the Taliban. Yes, Yafim. I am Malala. Yes. Okay. Back to the monitor as you go. The next question is coming up right in front of you. Hi, I'm Joanne Brothers, and I'm the Vice President of Project Management for Comcast. Here's my question. A URL is the protocol used for referencing online addresses, including web pages, images, and sound files. What does URL stand for? Uniform Resource Locator is the answer. We move on. After his decision not to recommend criminal charges against Hillary Clinton over her handling of sensitive emails, what FBI director was grilled by House Republicans? Yes, Mark? Uh, Comey. Yes, James Comey. In 2012, England celebrated Queen Elizabeth's Diamond Jubilee, marking how many years on the throne? Yes, Ben? 75. No, North Andover, do you want to try? Samil? 60. 60 is right. What author of uh, Lord Jim and Heart of Darkness was only moderately successful during his own lifetime? Yes, Lily? Conrad? 
Joseph Conrad is right. Which of the following uses the most energy in American homes every year? Is it A, lighting, B, heating and air conditioning, or C, water heating? Yes, Peter. B. B, heating and air conditioning is right. Math question in its first year in business. A hat company sold 15,000 hats. In its second year, it sold 20% more. How many hats did it sell in its second year? Yes, Mark. 18,000. That is correct. Most of the world's major rivers are fed from mountain sources. The source of the Ganges River is a glacier in what mountain range? Yes, Samil. Himalayas. Yes. What baseball legend with a remarkable 56-game hitting streak was called the Yankee Clipper? Yes, Mark. Joe DiMaggio. Yes. A person with Down syndrome has three rather than two copies of what chromosome? Yes, John. 21. That's correct. Uh, Lake Powell, a reservoir on the Colorado River, straddles the border between Arizona and what state to the north? Yes, Ben. Nevada. No, North Andover, do you want to try? Samil. Utah. Utah is right. Which of the following countries is not a constitutional monarchy? Is it A, Japan, B, Sweden, or C, Brazil? Yes, Ben? Brazil. Brazil is right. In 2016, what star of the film Trainwreck became the first female comic to headline Madison Square Garden? Yes, Ben. Amy Schumer. Yes. Uh, because the Earth's axis wobbles, North gradually shifts to different stars over a 26,000-year cycle. In approximately 12,000 years, Vega will become our new North Star, replacing what current star? Yes, Ben. Polaris. Yes. At over 401 acres, the Hindu temple Angkor Wat is the largest religious structure in the world. It is located in what country in Southeast Asia? Yes, John. Cambodia. Yes. Math question. In a standard shuffle deck of 52 cards, what is the probability in the lowest terms of drawing a six? Mark. 1 13th. Yes. Author Khaled Hosseini has described The Kite Runner as a father-son story and what later novel as a mother-daughter story? Yes, Lily. A Thousand Sons. No. Chumps for Peter. A Thousand Splendid Sons. Correct. In 1682, what French king moved the royal court from Paris to Versailles? Peter. Louis the 16th. Be more specific. Louis the 16th. No, North Andover. Yes, Samuel. Louis the 14th. That is correct. On a waveform, the maximum vertical displacement above the horizontal is called the crest. The maximum vertical displacement below the horizontal is called the what? Yes, Melanie. The trough. Yes. Flappers, young women who bobbed their hair, listened to jazz, and behaved in a way that was considered very modern, emerged during what decade? Yes, Melanie? 1920s. Yes. In a 1984 televised political ad that begins It's Morning Again in America, Ronald Reagan used patriotism and optimism against what Democratic opponent? Yes, Ben. Walter Mondale. Yes, the largest recorded earthquake in the U.S. was in 1964 when a magnitude 9.2 quake struck Prince William Sound in what state? Yes, Peter. California? No, North Andover. Uh, Mark? Maine? No, Alaska. Uh, 100 Years of Solitude is set in a fictional village in what country that was the birthplace of author uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez? Yes, Peter. Argentina? No, North Andover, do you want to try? Yes, Lily. Colombia. Correct. Uh, what Norwegian artist is best known for the scream? A painting that can be seen as a symbol of modern spiritual anguish. Yes, Melanie. Edvard Munch. Yes. Uh, from the Greek meaning big eaters, what type of white blood cells ingest and destroy any bacteria and virus-infected cells that they encounter? Yes, Lily. Macrophage. Yes. Uh, after his 100 days rule, Napoleon was permanently exiled from France to what distant island where he died in 1821? Yes, John. St. Helena. Yes. In August 1947. And there is the bell that ends.
the first round. The score right now, Chelmsford, 170 points, and it's close. North Andover, 150 points. Nice round of applause for these teams. round is next, but first, we're going to take a few minutes to get to know the players. Uh, I've got a question in my hand. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We're going to start here with Chelmsford High School and you, Peter, and I ask this. So you're running for political office. What is your campaign slogan and why, Peter? It would have to be Peace, Prosperity, and Peter, because I like alliteration. All right. Okay, John. I'll go with vote for me. It kind of gets the point across quickly. It really no does. No need for anything else. Sure. Ben? I'm going to have to go with Feel the Ben, because I like Bernie Sanders. My name's Ben. Oh, there you go. Melanie. I'm going to have to go with uh, Melanie for Merca, because I couldn't find a better M word. OK. And Mark, North yeah. Andover. I'm going to take a slightly different route. Uh, my slogan would be 531, never forget. OK. Why? Do you want to explain that, Mark? Uh, my brother lives in Cincinnati. And on May 31st of this past year, um, there was a kid that fell into an enclosure at the um, zoo, and then there's like this whole um, internet um, phenomena that came up, and I just, it's always something that hit me, and okay. can never forget that day. I think I'm glad I asked. <laughs> Yafim. I'm gonna go with a classic, Dream Team Yafim. <laughs> Dream Team. <laughs> Samil. I'd go with Enough is Enough, because in my campaign, I'd fight to end political corruption and greedy corporate interest, trying to, like, use our legislation. Well said, and Lily. I think I'd go with she wins, we win. It's pretty simple, and I know I'd get the job done. All right. Uh, great job, guys. This is a really good round, an exciting round. We're going to keep it going. It is time for Head to Head. So Chelmsford, North Andover, let's go there. <laughs> OK, we are about to go head to head. I have North Andover to my left. Chelmsford High to my right. You guys want to shake hands to get things started? Nice and friendly. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points, and you can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And uh, here we go. A spider has how many legs? Yes. Eight. Yes. In 1953, what New Zealand native reached the summit of Mount Everest? Yes. Hillary. Edmund Hillary. Yes. Uh, Vice President Mike Pence is the former governor of what U.S. state? Yes. Indiana. Yes. Simone Bolivar was born in what capital city of Venezuela? Yes. Caracas. Yes. What TV reality show launched Kelly Clarkson's music career? Yes. American Idol. Yes. Uh, what two-word term describes the top speed reached by a free-falling object? Yes. Terminal velocity. Right. Uh, the Anschluss was the German annexation of what country in 19? Yes. Austria. Yes. The TV series The Americans and Stranger Things are both set during what decade? Uh. The 80s. Uh, what 1903 Jack London novel is about a sled dog? Call of the Wild. Yes. Uh, what organs in the human body filter about 1,600 liters of blood per day? Yes. Kidneys. Yes. Uh, a holy shrine for both Muslims and Jews. The Dome of the Rock is located in what Middle Eastern city? Yes. Jerusalem. Correct. Uh, what is the number in of interior angles in a heptagon? Yes. Seven. Correct. Uh, what hero of Greek mythology led the Argonauts on a quest for... Yes. Jason. Yes. In 1993, who became the first woman to serve as Attorney General? U.S. Attorney General. Uh. Janet Reno. Uh, what Japanese word literally means harbor wave? Yes. Tsunami. Yes. What god of war and protector of fallen heroes? <laughs> no! Wanted to get that one in. Uh, but that ends the head-to-head. -head. Chelmsford right now with 250 points. North Andover right now, 200 points. How about it for both teams, everybody? Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. From the top, Dream a Little Dream. Her name is Rio. It's a gas. Madam... I'm Adam, and color palette. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. Now, North Andover, you've got a little ground to make up, so 
You get to choose the first category, and what's it going to be? Could go, it's a gas for 10. It's a gas. These are questions about gases. For 10 points, the Hindenburg was designed to run on helium, but uh, because of U.S. export restrictions against Nazi Germany, it was filled with what highly flammable gas instead? Yes, Mark. Hydrogen. Correct. You've got the board North Andover. Category? Um, it's a gas 15. Okay, 15 points. Uh, what gas makes up 65% of the weight of the human body? Yes, John? Oxygen. Correct. And now, Chelmsford, you've got the board. Category, please. Uh, her name is Rio. Her name is Rio. This is a new category for the round. Questions about the city of Rio de Janeiro, and for 10 points. Uh, marked by dance competitions, musical performances, and colorful costumes, what annual celebration in Rio precedes the Catholic season of Lent? Yes, Melanie? Carnival. Yes, you've still got the board. Chelmsford, category? From the top for 10. From the top, a new category. Questions? about mountains and for 10 points what mountain that straddles the border of china and pakistan is the second highest mountain in the world yes lily k2 that's correct you have the board north andover it's a gas for 20 please it's a gas 20 points this time uh, atomic number nine refers to what gas that is the most reactive of all elements able to burn almost any substance including glass water and sand yes john fluorine that is correct. And now you've got the board, Chelmsford. Dream a little dream for 10. New category for the round. And these are questions about dreams for 10 points. In the interpretation of dreams, who theorized that all dreams are forms of wish fulfillment or an attempt to solve unresolved issues from our past? Lily. Freud. Sigmund Freud is right. You have the board, North Andover. Uh, dream a little dream, 15, please. 15 points in 1963. Who woke up one morning and wrote one of the most famous songs of all time yesterday after hearing the complete melody in a dream? Yes, Emil. John Lennon. No, Chelmsford, you want to try? Paul yes, Ben. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney is right. And now, Chelmsford, you get the board. Category? Color palette 10. This is the new category, color palette. All answers do feature a color. For 10 points, in 1983, Alice Walker won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. For what novel? Yes, Lily? The color purple. Yes, and now you've got the board North Andover. Color palette 15, please. Okay, though widely praised for their realism, all the battle scenes in what 1895 Stephen Crane novel were imagined and not based on personal experience? <laughs> the red badge of courage and North Andover, you still have the board category. Color palette 20, please. 20 points. Hitler's rise to power was aided by the violent methods of his stormtroopers, which were also known by what name? Yes, Peter. The brown shirts. Yes, and now Chelmsford, you have the board category. Um, how about Madam? I'm Adam. Questions about famous people named Adam. And for 10 points, what Maroon 5 frontman is the coach on the reality show The Voice? Yes, Yafim. Adam Levine. Yes, and now North Andover, you get the board category. It's a gas for 25. Usually found in rock and soil, but sometimes also in well water. What radioactive element is the heaviest noble gas? Yes, Melanie. Radon. That's correct. And now, Chelmsford, you have the board category. From the top for 15. The vast majority of the Sierra Nevada mountain range lies in what U.S. state? Mark? Uh, California. Right. You've got the board North Andover category. It's a gas 30. 30 points at stake after nitrogen and oxygen. What is the third most common gas in the air we breathe? Yes, John. Argon. Argon for 30 points is right. Uh, Chelmsford, you now have the board. I'll need a category. Uh, madam, I'm Adam. This time for 15 points. Uh, what star of Jack and Jill and Grown Ups 2 once joked, I'm not particularly talented and I'm not particularly good looking, and yet I'm a multimillionaire? Yes, Peter. Adam Sandler. That's correct. You've got the board, Chelmsford. Her name is Rio. Okay, this time for 15 points. Located at the summit of Mount Corcovado, what's the name of the colossal statue of Jesus, arms outstretched that can be seen from nearly every part of Rio? Yes, Yafim. Christ the Redeemer. That is correct. And North Andover, you have the board. From the top. From the top for 20 points. Located in the Southern Alps, Mount Cook is the highest mountain in what country? Yes, Ben. Italy. 
No, North Andover, do you want to try? <laughs> New Zealand, but North Andover, you still have the board category. Dream a little dream. For 20 points in the film The Matrix, Neo is offered two different colored pills. One to stay asleep and one to wake up to a harsh reality. Which color pill does he take to wake up? Yes, Ben. Red pill. The red pill is right. And Chelmsford, the board category. Madam, I'm Adam for 20. Who had a career as a U.S. Marine before becoming an actor known for his role as Kylo Ren in Star Wars The Force Awakens? Melanie. Adam Driver. Yes, and you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Her name is Rio for 20. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, what iconic beach was the venue for the 10K swimming event? Yes, Samil. Copacabana. That is right. Category? Um, her name is Rio 25. What Portuguese word refers to Rio's crime-ridden shantytowns? Yes, Samil. Favela? Yes, and you've still got the board, North Andover. Um, her name is Rio 30. 30 points at stake. Forever known as the lady in the tutti-frutti hat. What flamboyant entertainer from Rio was the highest paid actress in Hollywood in the 1940s? <laughs> Carmen Miranda, the answer. And that would have been 30 points. But North Andover, you still have the board. From the top, 25. 25 points. Uh, the Jurassic period is named after the Ura Mountains, where rocks of this age were first studied. Uh, the Ura lie on the border of France and what other country? Yes, Lily. Spain. No, Chelmsford. Germany. Ben. Germany. No, uh, Switzerland, the answer there. And you've still got the board, North Andover. Category? Madam, I'm Madam 25. What economist wrote The Wealth of Nations, a work commonly referred to as the Bible of Capitalism? Yes, Melanie. Adam Smith. That's correct. And Chelmsford gets the board category. Color palette for 25. Here we go. Uh, what secret Serbian society planned the assassination of the Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand in 1914 in Sarajevo? Yes, John. Black hands. Black hand, yes. And you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Dream a little dream. And this time for 25 points. At the end of A Midsummer Night's Dream, What Mischievous Fairy tells the audience they shouldn't be offended by the play as it was nothing but a silly dream. Yes, Peter. Puck. Puck is right. You've still got the board, Chelmsford. Color palette for 30 points. 30 points. Staged with seven locked doors in different colors, composer... Bella Bartok's only opera is named after the castle of what murderous duke from French folklore? Yes, Melanie. Bluebeard? Yes. Chelmsford, you've got the board. Oh, but that ends the category round. The score right now, Chelmsford High, 500 points. North Andover High School, 285 points. <laughs> Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round. And you'll get 20 points for each correct answer. Teams, you will lose 20 points for incorrect answers. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. Which of the three main subatomic particles is electrically neutral? Yes, Peter. Neutron. Yes. What four foot nine powerhouse won four gold medals in women's gymnastics at the Rio? Yes, Small Lily. Miles. Yes. Uh, what emperor defeated two other emperors at the 1805 Battle of Austerlitz? Yes, Samil. Napoleon. Yes. In 2016, who was the Green Party's nominee for president of the. Yes. Time. Yes. At the beginning of The Lord of the Flies, who was elected leader of a group of boys? Yes, Peter. Ralph. Yes. What large inland sea is bordered by Ukraine to the north and Turkey to the south? Yes, Tamil. Black Sea. Yes. Uh, gingivitis is the inflammation of the what? Yes, Mark. Gums. Yes. What is the Latin word for moon? Yes, Peter. Luna. Yes. In August 2016, who played his last game as the designated hitter for the Yankees? Yes, Tamil. David Ortiz. No, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Name the only children's story ever written by James Bond creator Ian Fleming. Ah. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, Zachary Taylor and Millard Fillmore were the last U.S. presidents from what? Yes, the Wade. Yes. Uh, the characters Bert and Ernie are based on the friendship between Frank Oz and what Muppets creator? Yes, Ron. Jim Henson. Yes, what New England poet wrote The Road Not Taken? Yes, Peter. 
of Frost. Yes, what songwriting duo wrote The Pirates of Penzance? Yes, John. Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. That's the end of the round and the end of the game. The winner this week, Chelmsford High School with 640 points. <laughs> North Andover this week gets 300. 65 points. Congratulations to uh, both teams. Chelmsford High School now moves on to play in the quarterfinals. Make sure you tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for a high school quiz show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. of WGBH.